Sitaram, welcome back to Conversations. I'm Vishala Ganesh. If you're just joining us, well, welcome. Thank you for spending part of your day with us. We really appreciate it here on the show. It's Monday. I hope all of you are ready. So those were two fantastic giveaways earlier on. Now we turn our conversation to polio. Yes, a disease that affects children all over the world. And Rotary International is actually holding an End Polio Now Awareness Walk on Sunday, October 21st, 7 a.m., Queen's Park, Savannah. What is polio? Should we be worried? Well, with us on set, we have a very special guest with us. He is the former president of the Rotary Club of St. Augustine. He was also the chairman of the Polio Eradication for Rotary District. Um, also regional, he won the Regional Polio Award in North America, Central America, South America, and the Caribbean. He was also awarded the Hummingbird Medal National Award in 2004. So let's bring on set with us Mr. Raj Jadu. Sitaram to you, Mr. Jadu. Sitaram Vishala. <laughs> it's good to have you on set. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I didn't see that I wear you have my I polio now t-shirt. Yes, for those of you who can't actually read <laughs> what, what he has on the shirt there, you know, it's end polio now. And he has the Rotary International logo. So we had to talk about polio, this disease. So the first obvious question for those of us who, who don't know, not aware, what is polio? polio? Polio is a virus that attacks the motor neuron of the brain, thereby going down to the spine and affecting your lower limbs. In some people, it, it affects the breathing so that what was invented at that time to prevent the problem with breathing was the iron chamber. Mm. So that I have some, some shots that you can see whereby people live for so many years in that iron chamber. When I say years, like 50 years, 60 years, 70 years, mm. without being able to move. And that's how bad polio is. And the very bad thing about polio there's absolutely no cure for polio. There's no cure no for cure polio. No cure for polio. It can only be prevented. Right, and talk about prevention. So all yeah. over the world. All over the world. Every how part do we prevent the, polio? Yeah, because what we do is that Rotary International, together with Center for, for Disease Control, World Health Organization, and UNICEF, is that they have been on the front burner with a polio eradication for many years. But the Rotary came in in around 1987, when we had approximately 365,000 cases of polio per year. Hmm. And the figures were spiraling. Right. So that we came on board and we said that what will happen is by the end of the year 2000, we were going to eradicate polio. Hmm. But that did not happen, hmm. in spite of the fact of based on fundings and so Rotary so far has interjected approximately 1.9 billion US dollars in helping to eradicate polio. But the person that I must make mention of, someone who is with us um, since the beginning and has invested so far 3 billion US dollars mm -hmm. is Bill Gates and Melinda Gates Foundation. Oh wow. And he is continuing. He has given us uh, a challenge that if we could raise 50 million US this year, he would match it by 100 million. Oh, wow. Excellent. Yeah. So, this, so in three years' time, check how much money is that he would be given. Mm -hmm. so I know Additional to what it is he has already, already given. Already given, exactly. So my director Vivek will actually cue me when uh, the polio video is ready. Mm. So let's take a look and when we come back, we'll continue our conversation Good. on sure. polio.
had to wear that time. And when you look at these little children, you could see how the legs are deformed right. because of the polio virus. That is the iron chamber that I was speaking to you about that people had to live for so many years. And these two young ladies, that is a breathing apparatus because it also affects the brain. Mm -hmm. And when one goes to Nigeria, you will be totally surprised to see the amount of polio cases and the amount of people on skateboards mm -hmm. because of polio. Right, because that's yeah. the, how they can move around. Yes, but I will tell you why. Because in all the Muslim countries, and if you look at this, it's shown you from birth. Mm -hmm. And even when you reach an adult, you are still paralyzed. Because as I mentioned before, there's absolutely no cure for polio mm. once you contract the disease. And you look at these people, look, look at the legs, you see, the, you see how, right. how bad, and it's when you see it in person, it hits you right here. Uh, you have Amita Bachan, you have Bill, Bill Gates, Gates, and they are telling, and uh, Desmond Tutu, is that we are so close. We are 99.9% successful so far mm -hmm. but that that little mm, is creating a problem because polio could happen any day any time yes and let's talk about how the disease is actually spread good i will tell you that but all it needs is a plane right mm -hmm. it needs no passport no visas but someone could be carrying the virus and normally it is spread by bad sanitation Mm. And then that could infect people's food, you know, through flies and all sort of things. And then what will happen is that when you contract that disease, unknowingly, for six weeks, you could be a carrier and not knowing, mm. so that it is spreading like wildfire. Just to, to, the, to the air. Mm -hmm. and because today we could have one case, and by next week, Sunday, we could have over a thousand cases. That's why that's, that's why the point is. one percent is bothering you because it is even though it's ninety nine point yes. nine, it can create another epidemic. Good. Because the only time that the world could be certified polio free is that every country in the world must not report a case of polio for at least three years. Mm. That's the only time we will win the battle. Right. But we are having problems because we were having serious problems in, in, in some of the Muslim countries, that's the remaining ones, which is Pakistan and Afghanistan, mm -hmm. and to a lesser extent now in Nigeria. In spite of the fact, initially, we had real problems in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. But when they started to see so many people have been paralyzed, and we brought in the Ashanti Hini. The Ashanti Hini to the Africans is like the Pope. Mm -hmm. To the, to the Africans. And he is an Oxford University grad, likewise his children, and they took the drops. Right. And it's when they took it, the people started taking it. But what were they fearful of? Like, why were they? Good. They were f I'm glad that you asked me that question. They were fearful, and at least, as I said, the Muslim countries fearful that the Americans want to sterilize them and suppress Islam. Oh, so I guess maybe that propaganda spread throughout Nigeria and other countries. And, and so they Pakistan, didn't want to Afghanistan, wow. even parts of India. Because mm -hmm. we had a problem in India, in Bihar, which is predominantly Muslims. And I remember the um, Imam was over the loudspeaker telling people, do not take the polio virus. Oh, wow. The polio vaccine, vaccine sorry. Vaccine, yes. And lo and behold, the next day he had to sing a different tune mm. because that said night, his grandson became very ill. And by morning, he was paralyzed. Oh so he God. had to go back to tell people, take the vaccine because it happened right on your doorstep. Mm. And, let's talk and about this is how bad it is. Let's talk about India for a second. Okay. So India, let's talk about your Rotary International's yeah. work in India in terms yeah. of eradicating polio. But what we, like? did, what we did in 2004, because of one or two little outbreaks, because once there's an outbreak, you've got to go back and immunize people. And we broke history. 
we did 170 million children in one day. I repeat, Just we did day. 170 million children in one day. And the good thing about it is from the president of the country down, mm -hmm. they were involved in the mobilization. Right. And that's the reason why today a country that has a population of approximately 1.3 billion and over is now polio free. Exactly. And we are looking to make sure that likewise happened throughout the world. In Pakistan, just a two, three years ago, we had that when people were moving around the volunteers, they were being killed. Mm. We had several people who were killed in Pakistan because of that. Because they believed something. Because they believed you were coming to harm um, the nation. That's exactly. Oh, that's but then the president took a stand and he started sending the army together with the volunteers. And that's the reason why we have it done. As I told you, 1987, there was 365,000 cases of polio every year. Mm -hmm. Today, it is down to 22. Right, but Only still a cause of concern. It's very concern because, mm -hmm. as I told you, it spreads like wildfire. Right, and what is um, what is Trinidad and Tobago's story with regard to polio? Well, we have a problem is that, uh, and not only Trinidad and Tobago, eh? mm -hmm. by extension, most of the countries in the world, we don't have it, so why worry? But it is the forgotten killer. Mm. It could happen any day, any time. Why, Vishala? Is that vaccines were coming into the country. Remember, all our children under the age of five years has to be vaccinated. And if the vaccine is not stored at the right temperature, it becomes mutant. Right. And that's it. Polio mm. starts. Mm. So everybody who will get the vaccine will contract it and it spreads. But out of Every, all the people who have contracted the polio virus, only about 2% die. But still, the rest could be paralyzed. And, and live like what we saw in the pictures. Picture. They live their entire lives. And then if you notice, the, some people there, is that there's a thing called the post-polio syndrome. Yeah, let's talk about that. Which is not that. as much pre as predominant as the polio that affects children up to the age of five years. Mm -hmm is that you will, could have the, 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 vi the virus is in you because that's what they are putting. Eh? They are putting a live virus in you to combat it. Mm -hmm. And in the event that later on in the life over the age of 20 years, is that for some unknown reason your body chemistry changes. You could go to sleep normal and you end up paralyzed. Like what happened with Teddy Roosevelt President of the United States of America. Mm -hmm. It has happened in, in China, it has happened in Australia, it has happened all over. But we are trying our utmost to prevent things like that. Mm. And we are appealing the people throughout the world, the children, parents in particular. Vishala, there is absolutely no country in the world that where every child is immunized against polio. There is no country not even America. That's the reason why it had an outbreak in Africa mm -hmm. about two years ago. And America was very concerned. And the other countries were very concerned. Yeah, because Be as you said, all it would take is a plane ride. Plane ride, no passport, no visa. Mm -hmm. And it could start all over. And then you had to do mop-up campaigns. And mop-up campaigns cost us a fortune. It cost a lot of money. Mm -hmm. We just had a case in Syria. And we just had to do a mop-up campaign with 800,000 children. Because you remember if that starts spreading, you are in trouble. So it's better you do a mop-up campaign. We just did a mop-up campaign also in, in the Congo. Because of the same. We have to be, we have the surveillance and the vigilance at all times. Is that we look at every case in the event something happens to a child, anything to do with paralysis. It is the only way to stem it. Mm. Because we can't wait for it to be all blown out. Mm. But I must thank, you know, Rotary and Center for Disease Control and UNICEF um, 
for all the help and support that they have been given to fight this disease. Mm -hmm. You know, I remember doing a project here in Trinidad some years gone by, and the first thing people say, we don't have polio, why I must support that? Mm -hmm. But we are saving your children's lives. Right, we so are saving your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren, your future generation. Mm -hmm. And all of us must come on board to save the world, children. Definitely. And if we, have, if we can't do that, then we have failed ourselves, our children, our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren, and we have failed the nation and the country and the world at large. Mm. But we get vaccinated for so many other diseases. Yeah, but you must get for polio. You must. Right. That is a must. Is 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 uh, because we had it as polio plus, eh? because like other diseases too. But the concentration is really on polio, mm -hmm. and that's the reason why we are trying to build the awareness here. Is that on the twenty fourth of October is World Polio Day, so that you want people throughout the world, especially Rotary clubs. Uh, in, in, in all the various areas to have something to highlight World Polio Day mm -hmm. and to sensitize the public that polio is not a dead disease. Right. It is not a disease that, that, that has been eradicated. Mm. No, it's only when the last child is immunized and for three years no there's no, no outbreak of polio. Mm -hmm. So, and this is why on Sunday, October 21st. No, yeah, this Sunday, this 21st, Sunday, yeah. You are uh, well, the Rotary, Rotary International uh, yeah. uh, is hosting and the Polio Now Awareness Walk. Walk. And this takes place where? Around this Queen's Park Savannah, right opposite TGI Friday at 7 a.m. in the morning. Right. And we'll have so many dignitaries because people from the American Embassy, ministers, members of Parliament, and so many... Rotarians and friends and well-wishers and supporters would be there. So we are encouraging people to come and support it because in truth and in fact, you're supporting the life of your own children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren mm -hmm. and generations to come. Mm. So that's End Polio Now Awareness Walk this Sunday, October yes. 21st. Queen's Park Savannah, everyone knows where the Savannah is, right? 7 a.m. sharp. The starting point is opposite TGI. TGI. And then what will happen is that if they want to register, because you can get a T-shirt like this, yes. registration is just $100, which includes a T-shirt. And you register on the day or you yeah. can pre-register? No, you can pre-register. You go on endpoliounowtt.com. Endpoliounowtt.com. And you can register. Okay, and registration is just a hundred dollars. Just a hundred dollars. And you got the T-shirt. Yeah, because all we want to do is to build the awareness. Okay. That's what we want to sensitize people that this is so much alive and could affect all of us. Hmm, definitely. Now, I got passionate about polio. I will tell you when. Eh? I attended to Napuna Hindu School, mm -hmm. and we had Dr. Emmanuel Hussein, who is now Dr. Emmanuel Hussein and former member of Parliament. We used to have to lift him up to take him up upstairs. Okay. And send, I'm telling you, look, my hair is... Because I always remember that, to seeing this young boy that, you know, totally paralyzed. And we had to take him up there. And today, he could stand uh, on Sunday. He will be speaking about it. And that you feel so proud. David Rudder is a polio victim also. And we have so many other people who are polio victims in this country. And, uh, yeah, and, and, and some of us are non the wiser. non the wiser. So we'll hear them yeah. speak about and the you disease you'll, you'll on see Sunday. some people there who, who were stricken with polio at that time. Oh, wow. And there were plenty of people. Plenty of people. Mm. And as you, you see, said, this, there's this no era, This young generation in the last 30, 35 years don't know nothing about polio. I am sure some of them were shocked to see how people are so crippled. Yeah, definitely. And I was saying like an entire generation has passed, you know, in yeah. the 30 years. And even in my experience, I have not even encountered anyone with, pol with polio oh. or not aware that oh. polio was a problem in Trinidad and That's Tobago. That's exactly what I was going to tell you. You're mm. not aware. Right. But you've probably seen the people and you feel, you know, it's something else. But little you realize that it's polio my life. Yeah, and I, I didn't yeah. realize. And so you think that polio is a is a disease 
in some faraway country yes. affecting other people, not here in Trinidad yeah, and Tobago. It can affect anybody throughout the world. Yeah, well, you see, that's we just had a case in power. Papua New, New Guinea. As a matter of fact, five cases. Yeah, two. Five cases? Yeah. The last five but cases, too much. Yeah, but they had to do a mop-up campaign first. Right. They had to qua so when you say mop-up campaign, it's just they a quarantine? They have to go back and immunize all the children. Oh, it's okay. So yeah. you, you can yeah. be immunized more than once. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because they wouldn't know why the, yeah. why the disease is spreading. They wouldn't know why. Yeah. I remember in 1987, when I was in the Rotary Club, I had, had just joined, is that uh, we had gotten... 250,000 US dollars grant to bring in the polio vaccine. And what happened? No, we used it okay. and we started immunizing people. <laughs> <laughs> but now that is something that has to be continued. You cannot stop. No way. Right. It's and as you said, it has to be kept at the right temperature. Yeah. At the right temperature at all time because once it becomes mutant, and let me just tell you something. Just two months ago, there are two cases in Venezuela right next door. And when we know that you Venezuelans see? are coming to Trinidad. Yeah, right, they were right next to Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And we, we know that, listen, we, we go there all the time. People from yeah. Trinidad go to Venezuela, people from yeah. Venezuela come yeah. to Trinidad. And so, okay, two cases is two cases yeah. too much. So now you really have to now make this sure that all the children This is why we are, are so vaccinated. passionate about it. I am very passionate about I it. I hear it in your voice. Yeah. I hear it in your voice. But the thing about it is that I love what it is I'm doing. I'm not doing it only for my children. I'm doing it for the children of the world. Mm. But I want to thank you for, for bringing this to us today. I feel like, you know, for Monday conversations, <laughs> it's very important to you know, start, the, start the week off on, on a proper note. Yeah. And uh, what better way to do with some knowledge about polio? If you never thought about polio before today, yeah. this conversation is so important because you're going to remember it. And, you, and all this week, I'm sure the Rotary International would, have been, would be making yeah, last-minute preparations the for yeah. the walk yeah. on Sunday. And so I encourage us. All I invited, Trinidad yeah, and Tobago, Tobago. Can, can, can come out and go to endpoliononowtt.com. You can register $100, $100 to register. You get a T-shirt. Come out at the Queen's Park, And we have Savannah. different colors. We have yellow. We have blue, we have red, and we have white. Oh, so you can have your choice so of you color. So you could have your choice of color. That's really great. So we look forward to joining you on Sunday for the End of Polio Now Awareness Walk. Queen's Park, Savannah, 7 a.m. shop. You're welcome. All right. Opposite uh, TGI Fridays. That's the starting That's point. point. Okay, great. So we thank you so much, Mr. Jadu, for being with us You're today. Welcome. Uh, sensitizing us, informing us, educating us. I think that is the aim of this show. And we always, we always value our guests that arrive and teach us something that we didn't, we, we didn't know before, we might yeah. not be aware of before. Well, as I said, it's the forgotten killer. It's the forgotten killer. killer. All right, let's make sure polio does not have its way with Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah. No, the world. And the world. But yeah. definitely, you know, we really care about our kids here. And we, you know, yeah. we, uh, you said two cases in Venezuela, yeah. Yeah. you know, uh, immediately but antennas that, just that has up. been That has been address so i don't think um, we have anything to worry uh, about, to worry about too much yeah. all right well all the best to rotary international Th and all the work that you're doing thank you dear we support you fully and we hope to catch up with you very soon again yeah thanks amel and god bless and thank you for having me here oh you're welcome sit around uh, sit around <laughs> All right, so that's actually all the time we have for today. Very lovely conversation there, Mr. Raj Jadu. Lovely but very important and very timely. So end polio now. I know many of you like to use the phone and the computer. Go on, type it in, polio, P-O-L-I-O. -O. Type it in Google and read, read about it. Read about the disease and its effects and also uh, the vaccinations all around the world. So that's some good work being done there by Rotary International and Mr. Raj Jadu, past president of the Rotary Club of St. Augustine here to share with us more about it. So if you missed the conversation today, you can catch the repeat of conversations at 10 tonight. And this is how we end things. So take very good care. Monday will soon be over. Have no fear. And we'll be back with you again tomorrow. Take care, friends. See you around. Thank <laughs> you.